Hello, my name is Adam. Today we'll be going over some maintenance techniques for the equipment of Seabird Electronics. Now we'll be talking about the SPE32 carousel water sampler. Normally this will be installed on the carousel frame. Once it is uninstalled, some of the maintenance you want to perform on there is to remove the latch head assembly. The latch head assembly is easily removed with 5 30 seconds Allen wrench into the three screws on the latch head. Once these screws are removed, the latch head assembly can easily be removed. Uh, once that is removed, that allows you to rinse off the actuator magnets for the SBE32 carousel. These magnets are what is causing the carousel assembly to fire. When the signal from the deck unit is sent down to the deck to the carousel, the actuator magnet turns on and it pulls in on one of the latches, causing it to release. When left out in the sun or not rinsed off, these latches can seize up with salt water, dried salt. So it's important that they be rinsed off with fresh water after each cast. When you have a long transit or at the end of a cruise, it's good to also use a bucket of soapy water that you can then immerse the whole latch head assembly into. You can also insert these in a dishwasher. They're dishwasher safe. Uh, when you have removed this, you can reinstall it onto the carousel assembly. Again, using the three screws. When you're installing this, there's only one way it goes on. You'll line up the hole for position number one with the dot on the latch assembly. It goes into place. And you can reinstall the screws. One of the more important concepts when you're reinstalling this is that you do not over tighten the latch screws. Should these be made excessively tight, then there's a chance that it could warp the shape of this disc here, which will then cause the latches to bind uh, rather than fire when you send the signal from the deck unit. So you just want them to be snug in there and you can reinstall this into the carousel frame. You can also remove this uh, without taking the whole assembly out of the frame. Uh, the important point is just that you get water on the latches and on the actuator magnets themselves. We'll take a little more detailed look at the latch assembly. Once you dismantle it from the main hub, you can see how it operates in here. The actuator magnet is going to pull on one of these panels, which then causes the latch to release. So it's important that this become rinsed after each cast. Uh, also, you want to make sure that when you are affixing the lanyards for the sample bottles, you want each monofilament strand to lanyard to go uh, directly straight from the latch assembly. Should it be not straight or crooked, it can put a lateral stress on the latch here, causing it to bend. Should that happen, uh, then you don't need to replace the whole latch assembly. It's also possible to disassemble each piece of the latch by unscrewing this disc here, which will then allow you to remove one of the latches and we sell replacement latches so then you can just insert a new one and continue on with the cast. Each one of these latches has a tie-dye coating on it so they don't require any lubrication of any kind. They're water lubricated so any petroleum based product will just cause these latches to gum up and then cause them to have trouble releasing. So it's very important that only fresh water be used for the, the cleaning of this or, or soapy water. 
Thanks for watching our videos. If you have additional questions, you can find more documentation on our website or call or email us at seabird at seabird.com.